Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Now in today's video I'm going to show you a quick but very effective title tutorial that you can do directly in Final Cut Pro without the need for any plugins, any other type of software, just like the one that you saw in the intro. Let's go. So here we are in Final Cut and this is just a nice drone shot of mine that I took last summer actually during the beginning of the pandemic over the Nidderdale countryside which I'm sure you'll agree is very very pretty. Anyway, so if we just go into the title menu up here and we just want the basic title here. Just drag that anywhere across. First if we just change the text here, I'm going to call that amazing title, choose a font. Now ideally this kind of effect works best with a nice big bold font. I mean, you, you choose whatever you want, but it just works better with a bolder font. So here we have Avenir Next Condense, which is one of my favorites. Just change that to heavy and we'll scale that up a bit. Something around there should do. Just put that in the middle. So now we have our title all sorted out. All we need to do now is the animation. So if you didn't already know this, if you press Ctrl and V, this is going to expand the video animation section or whatever you want to call it, within the title that you've got selected. So by hitting Ctrl and V, you're going to expand that video animation and you can visually see where you're putting your keyframes because normally you can't actually see where your keyframes are going to be in Final Cut Pro for some reason. But anyway, this is a good way to see. Right, so we have our video animation expanded and what we want to do is have this text come in from the left hand side and fly into the right. So this roughly starts at three seconds. So all we need to do now is go into the video inspector up here and keyframe that position there. So say I want that animation to take a second, I'm going to go from five seconds back down to four seconds over here and then I'm going to change this X value until it goes off screen somewhere around there. I like round numbers so I'm going to do that at minus 3800, just a bit of my OCD there. And if we play that back, you can see that the title comes in nicely, it even eases in and eases out, it's not like a hard jerk which I think is quite good Final Cut to be honest. So with that bit done, now we want it to zoom in to the text. Now the most obvious way is to simply scale this up in like a thousand percent. However, the problem that you're going to face there is when you zoom in, it may actually zoom in between two letters rather than through the exact letter that you want, which isn't what we want. So you may already know how to do this, but if you don't, then you may learn something, hopefully. So our text flies in, probably going to want to hold that for a couple of seconds and then fly through. So if we say at eight seconds there, again, my OCD. So from eight seconds, we're going to want that to now zoom in. So instead of scaling, what we're going to do is actually crop. So this little icon here, you want to select that, which is the crop icon, and then down here, press crop. Then we're simply going to put a keyframe at the beginning of our zooming in transition. You can see that here. And say I want that to last another second. So I'll go up to nine seconds. There we are. So now we can simply crop the frame, reduce the size and then position this anywhere we want. So for example, in, rather than it going in the middle, which is going to take you into the middle of this N, which you may want, but what happens if, for example, you wanted it to go into this part of the G instead? So you can see that this isn't quite small enough. So what we're going to have to do here is just simply reduce this over here on the right hand side until it fits nicely in there. If we zoom in, we can see that that is going to fit nicely inside that G. So all we need to do now is press done. And if we play that back, we have the title sliding in, holding for a couple of seconds and then zooming through that G. So that's looking pretty good. However, the text is still white and we want it to be hollowed out and create that mask effect. So we see the video behind. So this next step, super quick, super easy, and then we're done. So the last step is to change the blend mode in the video inspector, which is up here in the top right hand corner. So we want to change that from normal, and what we want to actually choose is stencil luma. So now if we play back our title effect, we have the text coming in, you can see the video playing behind, and then it zooms through into that G to reveal your video. It's good. I like it. So as you can see, that was super quick, super easy, but very effective use of the basic title that's available to you in Final Cut Pro for free. I mean, you don't need to buy any other plugins. Sometimes it's just about getting creative, seeing what you've got and how you can work with it. So hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you're inspired to create something using this easy, simple title 
transition, intro, whatever you want it to be. It can be whatever you want. You decide. So if you want to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe, comment, hit the bell. All those nice things that will brighten up my day. They really will, honestly, they'll brighten up my day. Unless they're negative comments, but hopefully don't, don't, don't leave negative comments. They're not nice, are they? Not nice. So yeah, would appreciate your support. Hit the bell, all those things, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Don't work, does it? Not get dark enough. Can you hear the um, the recycling bin men? Can you hear the bin men outside? I'm trying to film here. Got the recyclers outside. God, Hollywood. That's what it's like up top. YouTube's down at 41 subscribers. A YouTube sensation. Peter McKinnon. Eh? <laughs>